<clears throat> okay, so uh, I just got done watching the 2014, uh, just fixing the camera a little bit, it's a little bit of a quick video here, uh, 2014 WWE Royal Rumble. Um, something I probably don't talk about enough on this channel is I'm a big wrestling fan. I've been a huge fan of it since I was a kid. Uh, one day we'll probably talk more about wrestling and stuff if you like that stuff. Um, but in any case, so I'm making this video because I'm, well, honestly, I'm kind of angry. I'm not just angry. I'm, I'm, I'm pissed. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm like fuming right now, actually. Uh, so every year WWE does this pay-per-view, the Royal Rumble. It's one of my personal favorites. And they do this whole thing where they have 30 guys enter a ring and they get tossed over the rope. And whoever wins is going to face the champion at WrestleMania. So it's a big deal because a young and up-and-comer can win it or uh, even a veteran or whatever. So anybody can really win it. Um, this year, Dave Batista came back like a week ago or so. He's been gone for about three or four years. And it's interesting to me because he was apparently the fan favorite to win, which I... I... I put my foot down, you know, uh, since since day one, even before when he came back, when I heard he was coming back, and I said, there's no way he's going to win it. I thought it was going to be a ruse. I thought they were going to lead us. He, again, he's been gone for about three or four years, and sure enough, he wins the whole fucking thing. You know, and, and this is what really makes me ups uh, pissed off about this, is that um, this man has been gone for years. There was clear indication of, like, ring rust, like he wasn't in this zone to wrestle like you know like when you're active and to me it was just a complete fuck you to everybody i thought without coming off like i'm exaggerating or being a mark which is like a hardcore wrestling like freak or whatever uh i pretty much think that they 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 just dropped the ball completely they fucked up they failed like just the whole thing now i i have work so i usually miss the first half of pay-per-views However, uh, I heard Daniel Bryan versus Bray White's match was very good, even though Daniel lost, which I'll get to. And I caught Orton ver John Cena versus Randy Orton for the WWE Heavyweight Championship, both belts or whatever. And, you know, it's like people are just sick and tired of those two wrestling over and over and over again, and that match was going nowhere. And you know, and I tweeted this, I live-tweeted during the whole thing, uh, you know a championship match, you know a wrestling match is bad when they're chanting, we want divas, and this is awful. And then chanting random wrestler names throughout the whole match. Because they want the audience themselves at the pay-per-view that paid good money to be there want to be saved from how shitty the match is. See, that was bad, but Bray White came out and laid Cena out at the end of the match, which saved it in some regards and I do tip my hat I give kudos to Orton for playing along and pissing the crowd off however that match was utter shit the other thing is Daniel Bryan the guy I said before um he was chanted the whole seems like the whole night from what I'm gathering and and he was you know there was a lot of a build up with him this past year to be the big thing to not be the big thing to be the big thing because he's busted his ass the fans love him he's a fan favorite and, you know, he seemed like the guy who was destined to win. And that's who I wanted to win. Now, I wouldn't have been pissed off either way if the guy didn't win. But the big insult was that we get to the final guy and Daniel Bryan has literally not been in the Rumble. So he literally wasn't in the match at all. Now, I understand he lost against Bray Wyatt earlier in the night, but there is, like, fucking no excuse. They could have did the whole thing where he lost, and then he could show up in the Rumble strong as ever or some bullshit. So the fact that they didn't do that, these, they wasted a complete year of all this bullshit with the fans back and forth. It was just a complete, like, they, they just threw everything out the window at that point. Now, the other problem is that you have... Is that you have guys like the Shield who are up and coming and, and been decimating for a long time now, and in the top four, I think it was I forgot who the, one of them was, but I know Sheamus returned and he had a cool return, and I understand he's gonna look strong when he comes back, but I didn't think he was gonna win it. Uh, and you have Roman Reigns, who a lot of people thought well he could probably win it, 
and Dave Batista, Batista, and you know, sure enough, it's like we're down to Batista and Roman Reigns, and at this point, I was like, "Fuck it," you know, Roman Reigns, young, he's cool. I mean, it's not bad, I guess. He's not who I would ideally pick. I mean, uh, me, I would have been went with Daniel Bryan or CM Punk or Ziggler or somebody else, really. But uh, the fact that he did that really cool spear to Batista, that was cool. But it, the thing that really pisses me off is just that Batista, you know, takes him and throws him out of his, and that was literally like his moment. I think he eliminated 12 guys out of that match. It broke a record or some shit. And to me it's 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 pointless, you know. You know, I don't, regardless of what your thoughts on Daniel Bryan there are, it's clear as day that Daniel Bryan is what people want to see right now. And every time they they've given that guy something, they've taken back something. And whether it was sales figures they looked at or something that didn't fall in line with WWE's idea of who should be the, the head guys of their company that is absolute fucking bullshit like I think that a, the general feel is that a lot of people have been jerked around too much and you really haven't seen the potential of particular wrestlers like Brian you know in my mind I think that he could easily bring in uh, you know he can first off it's a, it's a face it's a good guy he's a big good guy He's a great wrestler, and he would easily have brought the profits in. I mean, guys, uh, Orton versus Brian at Mania writes itself. Orton stole the belts from him practically. All this shit has happened to Brian over the year. It's like the ultimate revenge match. They would have made the money back tenfold in that match, even if you hate Brian. You know, but again, it comes back to even Brian. Brian should have at least, at the very least, showed up in the match. Punk, I didn't think was gonna win. To be honest, as much as I love him, I, I think he was he had the feud with Kane. But Punk was just in the corner most of the match, and I just thought that was fucking weird. Like, you know, why are you gonna put this guy who's number one? You make him look so strong, and then like, ninety percent of the final match is like he's just fucking chilling there. And then Kane laid him out, which I expected, but still it was just odd, you know. But the thing that really pissed me off that that I mean, like that I felt was. When the crowd started booing and chanting no and Daniel Bryan and stuff during the last few guys. Like, when they were doing their moves, they were chanting, no, no, you know, that whole thing. And I was just like, holy shit, man. Like, this is bad. And then when Batista won it and they ended the show with the booings, the booings were so loud and so bad that the announcers couldn't use their characters on, you know, uh, to even say, oh, that's the WWE being rowdy. No, it was bad. They fucked up and they failed. Big time. Uh, I you know I don't care regardless I don't care who who you wanted to to win I I, I don't you know again I don't you know I am not picky but it should have been the winner should have been somebody completely different it should not have been Batista I don't give a shit what they're thinking backstage Triple H Vince Steph whoever that they they have been super inconsistent the past year. I understand every week we're not going to get a perfect episode of Raw. We're gonna, not going to get a perfect storyline, and things have to get built up. But this is enough now. This is like where the line's been broken, you know. So now they got to fix this. This is a huge fuck up for them, in my opinion, of course. Because I know there's always one fucker that disagrees. But you know what? F screw that. This this was a fuck up. This was a bad fuck up. You know, you want to stand up for mediocrity, that's cool and all, but I'm not going to stand for that. That's bullshit. Ugh, it's really hard to be a wrestling fan now. You get you get angry, and 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 it makes it worse when people are like, oh, it's scripted and all this stuff. Yeah, I'm a, I'm fucking aware of that, dude. What I'm more angry about is just the fact that I can't say that there's things of quality all the time anymore because it's getting really fucking annoying. Yeah, it's just... Da, 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 and then this pay-per-view happens and it's just the one of the biggest fuck-ups I've ever seen. Actually, now that I think about it, I caught Lesnar and Big Show and that was just... What the fuck was that? Anyways, guys, who did you want to win? What did you think and feel? Please spread this around. It would be cool if you got on a wrestling site, uh, Wishful Thinking... Uh, am I overreacting? I don't think I am. I think this was a huge fuck up. I think they failed and dropped the ball. And now they gotta fix this. Uh, regardless, I still think Daniel Bryan should have had his title shot. Just being honest. And uh, that's it. Take care, folks. Later.